a pushback you. She first puts her body and mind in sync with the environment. Then she tunes into the surrounding nature. It's all about listening to sounds, especially birds. She's resting. She's hidden her kid close by from danger. While looking, she's listening out for bird alarm calls, the warning of predators. She's not afraid, but her kid would be an easy target if found. When a robin calls the warning alarm, she will move off with great speed. It could either be a leopard, a caracal or jackal. Her kid is now just two months old. She will feed, clean and hide her kid in a different spot each time. Her kid carries no scent until about five months old. But at this age she needs her kid to start grazing slowly. The robin's alarm call goes again. Her kid is in danger. He has to be moved. Pushback reliably on these two bird species as sometimes it's a matter of life and death. She's now in alert mode, listening to which direction the caracal is moving. She quickly hides her kid. The bushbuck then usually go into a silent tiptoe mode, moving slowly. This is what bushbuck do when danger is close. By treading on the points of her hooves, this creates no sound. Her tail lay now sparky like a bottle brush. It's similar to goose flesh in humans. She can fetch her kid again when he's out of danger. The robin awaits his reward for the warning alarm calls. He gets the ticks and flies. It's a win-win situation. It's a relationship between the pushbacks the chorister robins and the southern boo-boos. The chorister robin begins from the bottom, then moves to the top. The bushbuck also benefit from this as it helps to control the ticks and flies. The bushbuck you enjoys the robin's affection. Then the southern boo-boo flies in to inspect. He gives the all clear. A job well done. A bushback ram infested with ticks and flies. His shaking sound is a plea for help. The robin hears and moves in. The robin starts with the ticks shaken off on the ground. A welcome service glare and the robin starts under the chin. He's an old ram and will be lucky if he lasts another year. The chorister robin flies on top of the ram, combing through his mane using his beak. This is a hot spot for ticks. This ram is so infested with ticks and flies, the chorister robin adds in a night shift and will return in the morning. 
the old ram waiting the next morning for the chorister robin to finish the job but unfortunately she's got kids to feed he needs to wait